hi everyone in today's video we will be learning about the algae vaucheria vaucheria is the an algae which we have to study and it comes under the class xanthophyceae so in the previous uh, videos we have gone through several other algae and they were belonging to cyanophyceae and green algae chlorophyceae so the next class we have to study is xanthophyceae and this xanthophyceae class is also known as yellow green algae okay so the previous one was commonly known as green algae or chlorophyceae this is another class and this class is known as xanthophyceae or yellow green algae okay so under the this class we have to study the type and the type algae we have to study in detail is vaucheria so first uh, seeing its taxonomical position vaucheria algae comes under the division xanthophyta the class is xanthophyceae it comes under the order siphonales and the family is vaucheriaceae okay so coming to the details of vaucheria this vaucheria algae is a green algae uh, sorry yellow green algae and it is mostly found in fresh water okay so it is a fresh water algae but some species are there which are marine also so mainly or mostly it is fresh water algae but some marine species are also present coming to the structure of the thallus as you can see here vaucheria is a filamentous algae so this filamentous thallus or the plant body it represents the gametophyte okay vaucheria is a filamentous algae and this is its this filamentous uh, plant body is its gametophyte it is branched as you can see here it has several branches so it is a branched algae and also it is cylindrical you cannot found any septas here or any cross walls here right there is no septas so it is aseptate the there is no uh, walls in between the cells so it is aseptate since there is no wall all the cells will be found as in one flow and all the nucleus will be in the common protoplasm so it is multi nucleate also so what were the descriptions the thallus is branched it is filamentous it is cylindrical aseptate and multi nucleate siphonaceous okay because this uh, filament it looks like the siphon okay because it represents or it looks similar like a siphon it is also we can say the thallus is siphonaceous and this branching it is monopodial mostly but in some cases there is dichotomous branching is also see this algae you may have all come across in some fresh water bodies you can see some green tangled mass so this algae it uh, it is found as tangled mass on the soil surface or in the mud or in the uh, water bodies so that tangled mesh like green thing which you found is nothing but this vaucheria and because it is found like this tangled mass it is also known as green felt okay also known as green felt and this algae it is uh, attached to the substratum by means of a rhizoid like structure this is a rhizoid and this rhizoids are known as haptera okay and in some cases the surface of this filament they may be found impregnated with calcium carbonates this 
filament structure they have a thin wall they have a thin wall and there are two layers inner layer which is made up of cellulose and an outer layer which is made up of pectic substances in the center of the filament it is having a large vacuole you can see a light shaded region in the center like a tube right here that is the vacuole so the filament have a vacuole in the center and the cytoplasm is found towards the periphery it has a central vacuole which extends along all along the length of the filament and the cytoplasm is found towards the periphery okay the cytoplasm it performs streaming movements which is which will be non directional streaming movements within the filament which is known as cyclosis and in this cytoplasm there will be numerous nuclei you can see nuclei and this dark colored thing that is the chloroplast okay the nuclei or the cytoplasm will be having numerous nuclei because it is multi nucleate and all the cell organelles will be present oil globules will be found uh, or any other reserve food materials will be found and all other things which are normal to a eukaryotic cell will be found here also but the thing we have to note is that it has a central vacuole as i already mentioned you can see a light green colored region here which will, which is extending throughout the length of the filament that green colored region is the vacuole so the vac because there is no wall separation between the cells all are found in a common mass Uh, in a common protoplasm they are having so the vacuole is also having a uh, what you can say it extends throughout the length so there is no separation between that so this vacuole is found all along the length of the filament so, uh, and the that is why it is called as siphonaceous siphon like and uh, towards the periphery you can see a, a shaded region gray shaded region there you can found the cytoplasm so in the center there is nothing but the vacuole and towards the periphery you can see like a cylinder they are uh, cytoplasm is arranged like a cylinder out towards this peripheral uh, towards this periphery and there also a speciality is there that is uh, the as you can see here nuclei are, are they are found in the inner layer of the cytoplasm and this chloroplast they are found on the outer layer of the cytoplasm that is they are arranged in such a way that nuclei are found on the inner layer or the inner side inner region and the chloroplast or the chromoplast chromatophores they are found towards the peripheral region um that is all about the structure of the thallus and the commonest uh, chlorophylls which are found in this yellow green algae they are chlorophyll a and chlorophyll e and carotenoids are found in excessive amount and common carotenes are beta carotene and xanthophylls okay chlorophylls common co- chlorophyll is chlorophyll a and e carotenoid is beta carotene and xanthophyll that is all about the thallus structure so this is how we can fi- find this vaucheria in any water bodies you may have i'm sure you may have come across with this and now moving on to the reproduction vaucheria actually reproduces by uh, vegetative sexual and asexual methods vegetative method is through fragmentation and the, uh, i don't have i don't think i have to explain that uh, the thallus it accidentally breaks up and each of the small fragments they convert to a new thallus that is all about vegetative reproduction and asexual reproduction it occurs through either 
zoospore formation or through a planospore formation or through hypnospore formation or through achinids or cyst any of these may be found so a sexual reproduction may be through zoospore a planospore hypnospore achinides and through cyst and we have to study the sec- a sexual reproduction by zoospore and through a planospore first we may go through zoospore formations zoospores they are actually large and multi flagellate multi nucleated structures you can see here this is an this is what is a zoospore this is a compound zoospore okay so zoospores they are large multi nucleate multi flagellate and since they are having flagella they they are motile that is understood right and they are formed inside a structure known as zoosporangia these zoosporangias they are formed at the terminal ends or the tip of any lateral branches see this is a lateral branch right so uh, zoospores are formed in any of these lateral branches at the tip region okay so they are formed on the lateral branches at the terminal position and uh, during their formation the tip of the lateral branches they elongate like this they elongate and swell up and become a zoosporangia and the cytoplasm from the nearby region they flow inside this zoosporangia and they carry numerous nuclei mitochondria and all other cell organelles will be coming or flowing up to this region and after that a septa will be formed and the septa separates this terminal region from the rest of the thallus and this septa now separates the zoosporangia from the thallus as a result what happens is this zoosporangium it gets cut off from the main thallus and after that the central vacuole of the zoosporangium it narrows you cannot see any prominent vacuole here right so the central vacuole it narrows up and the protoplast contracts and they uh, form an oval multi nucleate young zoospore within the zoospore chromatophores uh, and the nuclei they reverse their orientation and the reversal is in such a way that the chromatophores come to occupy the inner zone and the nuclei come to occupy the outer zone the actual reverse position which is found in the normal thallus and after the reverse their position a pair of isocontic acronematic flagella develop and the formation of this flagella will be in opposite direction to the exactly opposite to the nuclei so this is how a mature multinucleate multiflagellate zoospore is formed and after this formation of zoospore this terminal this terminal wall of the thallus it gelatinizes and it dissolves and as it ruptures the zoospore it comes out through this opening the zoospore it comes out and escapes from the zoosporangia and this released zoospore it swims through water and goes and settles somewhere after it settles down it withdraws its flagella and the secretive wall uh, which may be a cellulosic wall it secretes a cellulosic wall around it and then at this stage the position of the nuclei and chromophore chromatophores they come to the normal position they again revert their position that is the nuclei move towards the inner zone and chromatophores move to the outer zone and they germinate the zoospores they germinate and forms or they give out tubular outgrowths 
two tubular outgrowths will be there one undergoes branching and forms the hold fast and the other one it grows further and form a new thallus okay this is how it germinates it one germinates and form the filament other one germinate and uh, they branch to form a rhizoid another type of asexual reproduction is through aplanospores aplanospores you are knowing it it is non motile spore so it is different from zoospore zoospore is motile aplanospore is non motile so mostly it is this type of uh, reproduction through aplanospore it occurs in the terrestrial species of vaucheria under unfavorable condition or in the aquatic species during the drought condition so this aplanospores they are uh, produced in aplanosporangia with which is also located in the terminal region located in the tip of the short branches the aplanosporangium it gets cut off from the main branch same like that of the zoosporangium by a development of a wall and its protoplasm detaches from the cell wall and transforms to a thin walled aplanospore this may be round or club shaped or any shape and it depends upon each species the mature aplanospore after released from the aplanosporangium through the rupture of the wall the aplanosporangium's wall ruptures and it is it comes out and after it its release they aplano uh, this comes out and it germinates and form a new thallus so that is all about aplanosporangium so simple so in the next class we will be seeing about the we'll learn about the sexual reproduction of aquaceria okay